Welcome to the idiot box. This is the Meg. The movie starts with Jonas, a rescue diver, saving a crew of a damaged submarine where they are attacked by something. Two of his crew members are trapped in the submarine. When the hull is damaged, Jonas realizes that trying to save his crew would lead to the death of everyone he has already saved, so he leaves them in the submarine when it explodes. Five years later, at the underwater research facility of Mana One, billionaire Jack Morris meets with Dr. Minwei Zhang, where him and his daughter Suyin supervise a mission to explore what turns out to be a deeper section of Mariana Trench. The mission submersible named Origin is piloted by Toshi, Wall, and Lori. Once they get past a thermocline of hydrogen sulfide, the crew discover an abundance of never-before-seen flora and fauna. The crew launches an underwater rover for exploring the base, but the Origin is suddenly attacked by large unidentified creature, and they lose contact with Mana One, confirming that the crew is alive but trapped deep in the water. Mana One operations manager, Mac, recommends calling Jonas to attempt a rescue, much to Dr. Heller's dismay who was saved by Jonas previously, still believes that leaving his crew to die was a result of Jonas's pressure-induced psychosis. Despite the objections, Zhang and Mac travel to Thailand to recruit Jonas, who is now a drunken loner. Jonas is initially skeptical but relents when he hears the taped recording of Lori, who turns out to be his ex-wife. Back in the trench, the crew tries to power up the submersible but realizes that the creature is attracted to light and they are attacked again, causing an impact and Lori is impaled by a tool. On Mana One, Heller shows Suyin the video of Jonas's interview where he claims that they were attacked by something five years back. The team detects that the submersible is losing oxygen, so Suyin attempts to travel down to the submersible and tow them up. Jonas arrives at the Mana One and takes another submersible and quickly descends to the surface. Suyin crosses the thermocline, but before she can attempt a rescue, she is attacked by a giant squid. Before the squid can crush her, it is killed by an enormous shark. Jonas shoots flares to distract the shark long enough for Suyin to escape. Then he tries to rescue the crew, realizing that there won't be enough time to save everyone. Toshi sacrifices himself to give Jonas and the others enough time to escape. After returning to Mana One, Heller apologizes to Jonas for not believing him. The crew identifies the shark to be a Megalodon, or Meg, a prehistoric species of shark previously thought to be extinct. While the team discusses on how to address the situation, Suyin's daughter encounters and narrowly avoids an escape from the Meg outside Mana One. The crew realizes that the Meg pursued them through the temporary break they caused in the thermocline. They receive news that the Meg attacked three fin fishing boats. The crew arrives to the location to see the shark swimming around. Jonas volunteers to swim in the water to shoot Meg with a tracker. The shark pursues and he narrowly escapes. The team puts Suyin in a shark-proof cage so she can shoot the Meg with poison. The shark attacks the cage and Suyin manages to poison the shark but it tries to swallow the cage whole. Jonas jumps in water to save her. Shark's relentless attacks causes Suyin's mask to break and she starts losing oxygen. Jonas manages to get Suyin out of the cage. The shark attacks the duo but it is caught in the cage line and dies of poison. In their moment of triumph, a second larger Meg emerges, devouring Wall and the dead shark all the while destroying the crew's boat. Heller sacrifices himself by distracting the beast to save fellow crew member Jax. Max swims out to a floating lifeboat so that he and the crew can regroup at Mana One. The shark gives chase, but it is deterred by a helicopter Jack called in. Zhang dies on the way at the Mana One. Jack claims that he has informed the Chinese government about the Meg and that they are going to send destroyers to kill the shark. But instead, he takes matters in his own hands to avoid any potential lawsuits. He hires a mercenary and goes after the shark in a boat and helicopter. They drop depth charges to kill the beast, but they accidentally kill a whale. And the boat escapes, but Jack falls over and gets eaten. After the team learns of Jack's deceit, they decide to kill the shark on their own. The Meg attacks a crowded beach in Sanya Bay in China and devours several beachgoers before the crew of Mana One attracts the shark using a whale call. Jonas and Suyin board underwater gliders and wait for the shark. The shark takes the bait and attacks the duo. Suyin shoots the shark with a missile, but the blast attracts nearby media helicopters. Then Jonas tries to fire a missile, but his missile system malfunctions. In the air, two helicopters collide, and one of the helicopter crashes on the cruise ship, forcing them in water. Suyin is forced to break off to help save the others. Jonas wounds the beast with his damaged glider, 
and then stabs it in the eye. The blood from the Meg attracts the modern sharks that devour the dying Meg. Jonas reunites with the rest of the Mana One crew on a passing wedding boat and considers taking a vacation with Suyin and Meiying. Meanwhile in the water, a passing Meg is heard, suggesting that more than two escape the trench. Thanks for joining us for another movie recap. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to like this video to show your support, share it with your fellow movie buffs so they can join the fun too, and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss another recap.